So this is random, but my buddy Josh, he's in this band called Magnolia Park, and I just saw on a story that they're filming a music video in downtown Orlando right now. And I hit him up and I was like, yo, dude, do you guys have outfits picked out? And he was like, yes, but we can always use more stuff. So I was like, all right, bro, I'm bringing you a box of stuff, which I got right here. I know this all seems rushed what I'm doing right now, because it all is. But like I was saying, this is all rushed because I have a music internship at 4.30. And that's like probably like 30, 40 minutes from here and I want to drop the merch off to the guys. So hopefully I make it in time to give them the shirts. I'm not gonna be able to hang out. I'm literally just gonna give them the shirts and dip. Turn left onto West Colonial Drive. Uh, they're like legit, legit. Yeah. That's the one I wear like every day, basically. Surprisingly, not today. How did you start your uh, band? Like three months ago. Yeah, not too long ago, honestly. Oh, I gave the band the merch. I was literally there for like six minutes because I had to rush through my uh, music internship. So, yeah, I went in. I gave them the merch. I tried filming as much as I could. So what's up to Josh and uh, dipped in you know, a really quick visit. So on to the music internship. Let's go. Well, I did not film much because there was not much to film. So I went to the music studio, did my hour internship thing, and it was literally kind of pointless today. We watched some videos. I made an hour drive for uh, 15 minutes of videos, and now I'm making an hour drive back. What you think? I think it looks awesome. Look at how that white puffed it up. Yeah, it looks really good. Like, I love the white on this tombstone. Look at the golden line. Yeah, I love how we did like a double. He used three different colors in the yeah. eye to make that. Got a little blood going. Yeah, you know. A little flexible. A little bit here and there. Right, so, I didn't film anything getting the tattoo, but here's the tattoo. Oh, pulled some hairs. Oof. Plasma. How do you feel about your first tattoo? I don't know, it came out pretty awesome. It feels a little sunburn like right now, but uh, look how awesome it came out though. Hey guys, so I'm not gonna film that much of this, but I'm painting a giant mural right behind me. It's gonna be a giant cat. It's like what? I thought it was gonna be eight feet and it's like 12, 14, 15. Ignore my hair, it's messy, it's hot in here. But I'm inside this like airplane unit carrier. So this dude covered this wall with paint and glitter. And he's got this jet plane out right here that he's gonna leave the store and park in here. And yeah, he just wants a giant cat, so that's what I'm giving him. Dude even hooked it up with the beard. Well, this place is dope. Here's the cat, it's looking like a bear right now. It's a little dark, but I'm gonna lighten it up. Little paint section. Yeah, I'm back on my bullshit. Guys, so I haven't filmed much, but here's the crazy trippy portal behind the cat. I'm giving it a little white outline, a little glow before I hit the black outline. Then I'm gonna hit the eyeballs, make this a little white, finish the feet off. But yeah, right now it's a little rough, but it's coming together. All right, here's a progress video, adding the black outlines now. The background's all crazy and trippy. I'm gonna do a black outline around that too, so hopefully it'll make it pop a little bit more. Yeah, there's the cat so far. What, like three, wait, it started at six. It's like 9.30 now, so three and a half hours of this. All right, so we're just hitting 11 o'clock. We're reaching the five hour point. This is what we got. Now I feel like I have most of the coat all in here. Got the nose, got all the black in. I'm just gonna have to do all the details now. Make sure the nose is shiny, knock out the eyes, which I'm gonna do with acrylic paint instead of spray paint, so I can make it more detailed. And then I gotta knock out the feet and the bottom. And then we're good to go. And yeah, man, that's my giant cat. Thought it was gonna be eight feet, but he's roughly like 14, 15 feet on. All right, guys, 17, or sorry, seven hours later, we now have the unicorn cat. Here it is. It's about 16 or 17 feet tall with a crazy 
vortex thing behind it next to this giant unicorn blood splatter sparkly wall. Here it is. Hopefully our guy likes it. I'm gonna go get him and let him see it and hopefully I can head home. Yep, there's my uh, 16 foot tall unicorn cat. The first Kellogg's, oh shit, it's already 25th anniversary. Is this even a Pokemon? Have you seen that one? Nope. Ooh. Oh, they put them upside down. Oh, shiny Pikachu.